Yeah. <laughs> But, you know, if you look at this graphic, I mean, we're talking about 70, 80 percent coverage here across El Paso and New Mexico. Of course, the farther east you go, that's going to be where you're going to be looking at that uh, the eclipse path right here, uh, making its way towards the northeast. Now, if you look at our weather, we're uh, forecasting for the eclipse and you can see we're going to see some clearing here so it's not looking too bad right now but you can see the path of this going to come through a lot of clouds so i still think a lot of folks going to be disappointed who are going to be heading out there to see the eclipse and uh, so we'll continue to monitor. i mean we still got some time uh, things could change a little bit but still looks fairly decent for us here across new mexico and far west texas here's what we're tracking you know we have some rain uh, nothing real heavy. A few lightning strikes, but occurring out towards the west of us. But the flow is from north down to the south. Very, very slight chance of uh, maybe picking up a sprinkle. That is going to be about it. But if you're heading to the ball game tonight, I think overall it's going to be fairly pleasant. Now, jackets will be needed tonight and into tomorrow morning. That is, we make our way throughout the day tomorrow. You're going to see, and if you look here, just a lack of cloud cover really across the area. So we'll be looking at full amounts of sunshine. The winds are not going to be a problem. So whatever outdoor activity you got going on tomorrow, maybe you're thinking about doing some work outside. I mean, it's going to be just a great day to do so. Now, uh, once we head into Thursday, temperature is going to get hotter. We're likely to climb into the 80s. But if you want 70s and sunshine and light winds, tomorrow is going to be the ideal day to do any outdoor work. Uh, but then we'll start to see some changes once we head into the weekend. Now, here we go. We've got a cold front that's going to be blowing through here uh, late Friday into Saturday. So we're not only going to see the winds, but some cooler temperatures as we start the weekend. Speaking of the winds, 15 tomorrow, 20 Saturday or 20 Thursday. Here's Friday, 30 late in the day. Then we hit about 40 on Saturday, down to 20 Sunday. Then the winds start to pick up a little bit by Monday and Tuesday. So overnight tonight, temperatures down to 43 degrees, a little bit chilly tomorrow morning. Skies will clear overnight. 75 anticipated for tomorrow, so beautiful day. 38 overnight for you guys in Las Cruces, so a little chill in the air. Tomorrow morning, you're going to be getting up 6 to 7 o'clock in the morning. 74 will be your high temperature with lots of sun. Watch over the next several days. Again, we're going to be looking good all the way through the weekend. There's the winds that pick up Saturday. And then again, a little bit Sunday and even into Monday. Nicole, a little cooler temperatures too behind that front from 80s to the 60s.